Hello there. Today we're going to install own cloud onto uh, Mint XFCE. Okay, first of all, what we need to do, we need to install it. So we could install it via software manager, but I'm going to install it using Synaptic. Okay, so we start Synaptic, enter our password, our root password. Wait for it to load, click close, and type in own cloud. Okay, you can see here that there's a couple of uh, uh, packages. So I'll right click on own cloud, and you can see all these packages will be installed. So quite a few. Get down to the bottom of this, still after to this, click mark, and then I'm going to install own cloud SQ Lite. Now you don't need to install this, but I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. Okay. And you can see that just installs one file. Okay. So own cloud and own cloud MySQL are installed by default. And I've, uh, I've installed the light package as well. Okay, so uh, we download <laughs> download in the packages, and it's asking for a MySQL server password. So this is a password for the MySQL root user. Okay, this is not your root password. This is a different password entirely. Click forward, and it's asking you to repeat it. Forward again, and then the software installs and sets up everything. All right, now I'm going to put a tick box here. Uh, and everything continues onwards. As you can see, it takes a little while to install. And then when you when you get the three green uh, blocks back up, or a green block back up, you can see that it's been installed. So own cloud, SQLite, and MySQL. Okay, X that off. And then, uh, I need to restart the system. Okay, so I've restarted the computer. Start a web browser. When the browser starts, I'm going to type into the uh, address bar. And we're going to type in localhost slash own cloud. Okay, now this is from the computer that has own cloud installed on. Now then, this is the setup screen. And it's asking you to create an admin account. So first of all, I need to put in... Uh, Right, okay, this is on SQL Lite. Uh, this setup is SQL Lite, so I need to put in my uh, admin account name and password. I can click Finish Setup now if I wanted to. Now, as I said, this is SQL Lite. And if I go to my SQL, it's asking for the database user. Now, if you remember, it was root. And then the password that we put in. And then the database name. So we're going to call this cloud. Okay. Now, 
because it's using my SQL, this is the information for the database. But SQL like doesn't use a database. So it is up to you how you install it. You can either use SQL Lite or MySQL. In this case it's going to be going to be MySQL, which uses a database. Okay, so what it does, it installs our own cloud or and a web server onto your computer. Now you can connect using different ways. You can connect via uh, Android or uh, iPhone or via computer. And this is the you, uh, the admin account on the system. Uh, it has files, music, um, and everything else available. So this is the username here and this is a workspace and I'm and you got you can add users and apps and lots of other things okay so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna click here I'm gonna click on the admin and you can see that uh, there's lots and lots of uh, different things that you can set up it's pretty much set up as standard you don't need it to uh, set anything up okay If you're looking at the logs and the warnings, ignore them. It doesn't mean anything. If I go back to our space, our files, then I go back and I go to users. I'm going to add a user. Now this user is the one I'm going to use to connect over the internet. Okay, so I put a new name in. Put a name in for the for the new user. And then a password. Um, the group um, let's put a better password in click on group and add a new group and it's going to be users so it's not going to be an admin account okay and I click on create so we've got two accounts we've got one admin account and one users account Okay, click on apps, and the only one I run by default is encryption, and this is encrypting the server. Okay, so any files on the server are encrypted. Okay, so I've restarted, uh, I've logged out, sorry, and I'm going to log in now using uh, my user account. Okay, log in. And you can use Firefox to remember the password. Again, this is the first welcome screen. Very, very similar here, apart from when I click on the menu, it's a lot less that you can, a lot less options. Yeah. There's no admin facilities on this account. This is what we want. Right. So to add files, I can go to my home account, home address. And I can drag and drop files. Okay, and I click on the file and it shows me what the file is, what's the content of the file. Close that. I'm gonna log out again. Alright. A little bit smaller. This is the own cloud. This is a web server. Okay, apply a web server means say it can contact or connect to it over the web or via local network. So here I'm just going to look at my web, uh, my uh, network address here. Okay. All right. Okay. So I know that my network address on there is well I'll show you what it is now and then this is a different computer it's my normal computer and here I'm gonna put in the the web address or the network address so this is on my local network okay okay so I click that click the address and what have I done there I've made a mistake there haven't I 
So I've put uh, 50 and it should be 5. Okay, so as you can see, you must get the, the network address correct. And then it allows you to log, in, log into there then. Okay, type in the name, password, log in. And there we can see the file on the other computer. So I just add some files. As you can see, you can drag and drop. And then on the network, they're quick, quick to update. And you can see we got photos grouped in, you know, all music and photos and files they grouped in there in their type. Okay. So that's that's quite easy, yeah. Let me just X that off, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's how to set up OwnCloud and connect via your local computer.